Hello friends and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I am coming at you today with a comparison video on the two largest manufacturers of video surveillance equipment in the world. Of course, we're talking about Hikvision and Dawa. And underneath their umbrella, uh, that encompasses 75 to 80 percent of all video surveillance equipment available in the world. Okay, and when you look at the OEM listing, you'd be surprised to know the labels that are actually manufactured by these guys. We see Lorex and Honeywell are manufactured by Dawa. Also manufactured by Dawa, we see Bosch, Speco Technologies, Panasonic, okay, um, Infinity, a lot of big labels. Over on the Hikvision side, it's the same thing. ADI and WBOX, they're kind of one label. WBOX is made by ADI. Uh, we see Alibi. Alibi, again, is Super Circuits product down there in uh, Texas. They are made by Hikvision. We see Hunt. We see Nelly Security. Uh, we see Trendnet. We see SCW. The list goes on and on. Um, so there's a good chance if you have a security camera system um, that it was manufactured between one of these two big boys. Okay. So this video is kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to pull up the equipment. Uh, we're going to do some live viewing, playing back. We're going to download video. And we're going to try to determine which of these two uh, manufacturers is best. We're going to get into it right now. All right, kids, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that. So you'll be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos are based on subscriber questions uh, and comments. So yes, Hikvision and Dawa. What we're going to do is we're going to pull up uh, IBMS, which is Hikvision's remote view software. Um, if you have Hikvision surveillance equipment and you are not running the IVMS uh, software. There's a link going across the top of your screen right now that talks about um, IVMS, uh, how to find it, how to download, how to download the software, how to connect uh, your devices to it, um, so on and so forth. Uh, we're not going to cover that in this video, but we are going to cover its functions. Okay, so I pulled up one of our locations that uses Hikvision. And let's just pull up, we'll pull up the main parking lot. And let's pull up a swimming pool camera. Of course, there's nobody in there in the winter, but. Well, let's go to live view first. Okay, so there's our two cameras pulled up in live view. Okay, as you can see, there's the parking lot. I can see the license plate number here. Looks like 3340906970967. Or 0967, sorry. Um, pretty good picture. This is a two megapixel IP camera covering a parking lot. Um, you can double click and go back to the single window view. And then here's the pool. Okay. Um, as you can see on these video shots, this again is the Hikvision camera uh, through a Hikvision 16 channel NVR. The timestamp is pretty fluent. Even remote viewing, uh, even though the camera is a 1080p 2 megapixel camera running 15 frames per second. We see pretty good compression, encoding, and pretty good streaming. Okay, so that's live view with Hikvision. Okay, let's minimize this now and go into Smart PSS which is Dawa's remote van engine software. Okay, the smart PSS client. And we'll do the same thing there. We'll pull up a location and we'll look at two of those cameras live view. Okay, um, the control panel is a little bit different with Dawa. You'll see there's live view and playback. We're gonna pick live view here. We'll pick a location. And we'll pick two cameras. Uh, let's pick a fuel dock and how about the ramp? Okay. Um, the one thing that I do notice is the pictures and the encoding with Dawa um, seems to be a little bit quicker. Okay. In other words, when we go from a small picture 
to a small picture back and forth that's very fast. When we do that with Hick Vision, the encoding is not as quick and there tends to be some freezing. Okay, let's go back to Hick Vision and I can show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here's Hick Vision. Let's go to large here. See a little bit of a delay. Now back to small. A little bit slower. The transition process is just slower. Okay, I'm double clicking. You see it, it seems to be a little bit of a slower process. Um, this, this time it's not even moving at all yet. Let's try again. There we go. Okay, so a little lag with Hick Vision. Again, I just double click to go back to the four pane screen uh, and we're getting some freezing. And with Dawa, we're on Dawa now. There's none of that. You see, it's very quick, very quick and very fluent. And it's the frames per, same frames per second, same resolution. Okay, so we're comparing apples to apples. Um, Hick Vision, if you've dealt with Hick Vision before, and again, I'm neutral. Uh, we're a company that installs both Hick Vision and Dawa. Um, so we're giving you an honest opinion. We're not someone that Hick Vision's paying or that Dawa is paying that's going to glorify one product to the other. It's a side by side fair comparison. Um, and for Live View, uh, as far as speed and encoding and compression, um, I definitely give Dawa and Smart PSS the thumbs up on that. Okay, so what else are we going to do, right? We're going to live view cameras, but we're going to do playback is important with a video surveillance system too, and you need to be able to do that remotely. Uh, again, both of these locations are remote. So let's look at Hick Vision, okay? And let's go into the control panel. And again, we see main view, which is live view and playback. So if we want to go to remote playback right here, see the freezing? This is what I'm talking about, friends, okay? It's, it's kind of stuck. It's just not always smooth. Um, so we'll close this window and we'll close this and we will pick the, let's pick the inside pool. Okay. And you'll notice it's taken a while for the remote software to pull up the pool. Just a little delay. Okay. I want you when we do the DAWA equipment with Smart PSS to, to notice little things. Uh, like that delay. There isn't a delay like that. that. That's something to do with the Hick Vision IVMS. So here's the pool. Okay. Say we want to download some pool footage from yesterday. So we can click on the calendar. Um, and we can go to January 2nd. And we can hit OK here. And we'll pull up the pool video for yesterday. There's the blue line. And again, you'll see the hesitation. But it brings it up. With Hick Vision, you can go to a time, say we want to go to 2 o'clock, okay, I'll wait for the timestamp to adjust, there it is, 2 o'clock, and we can right click with our mouse, and we can hit start recording, and when we do that, you will see a record button right here, okay, it's actually recording the video um, to the drive of our computer as we speak. So we get the Clipperty incident and we want to stop the recording. We just hit stop recording, folks, and it will give us the link of the video, the folder. So double click on that. And then we see the video, we'll double click on that. And there it is, two o'clock. Um, the few seconds that we have downloaded, you'll see again the timestamp is fluent, the picture is clear. Um, other than the freezing of the pictures during transition, um, the end product is pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good by Hick Vision. So now let's see what Dawa can do. Let's do some playback in Dawa and compare that. So we'll go into Smart PSS um, and we'll go back to the control panel, which is this plus sign. Um, we can close out live view and let's go to playback. Okay. And we'll pick the same location and we'll pick a fuel dot camera. Okay. We can pick yesterday, just like we did with Hick Vision. Hit search. All right. Now we can hit play. Oh, we got some snow, huh? So let's go to the same time, right? Let's drag this over to 2 o'clock.
203, close enough. Um, and now we want to do the same thing. We want to capture some video. So with Hikvision, you can right click on the screen and pick start recording. You'll see with Dawa, that is not an option. Dawa uses the snippet tool. So we come down here to the scissors, right? And we can pick time clip. And you can see there's a little slide bar right here that you can slide for the duration of your clip. So we just want a little clip. We'll go... about a minute okay so once you slide and get your time zone you're gonna hit the scissors again okay and it's going to ask you where you want the f to download the file to okay and we will just say our desktop just like that and it will ask you what type of file you want to export this as and we'll do an mp4 right and then we'll hit OK it's going to tell us it needs to stop playing back to download it. And then you have this little export file. Okay. And it's going to uh, transfer the file and then code it so we can play it back in Media Player. Okay. Um, there's our file. The one thing that Hikvision is kind of cool with is you can double click on the link and go to the site. Okay. You can go to the folder. With DAO, you actually have to open up your files and you have to go to your C drive oh no I'm sorry I picked up the desktop didn't I folks sorry about that um, it's our file right there and there's our two o'clock a little bit of snow um, it's nighttime. This is night vision, so you can't really tell picture quality wise. Um, but but this is a nice night vision shot. Obviously, um, you don't see any pixelating from debris on the lens and that type of stuff. And you see the timestamp is running um, fluently. Okay. Um, so playback. Okay. Playback based on the link. Um, I would give playback to. Vision, okay live you went to dawa um playback you know we'll give to hick vision again there is a little bit of freezing of the screen when you transition from um you know live view to playback uh it takes maybe a little second longer to populate uh, but the big thing with hick vision is that link it makes it easy to get to your file and it also when it converts the file to a playback file it seems to be quicker with hick vision and dawa all right, so that is a tie, okay? LiveView is a LiveView is Dawa and Playback is Hikvision. So now what that comes to, what it brings us to is, what if you need to manage um, the device remotely? What if you need to change the time? Uh, what if you need to change the OSD uh, name on the camera? You'll see indoor your pool, indoor interior pool here. What if you have to do that type of stuff remotely? How user friendly is it then? And that's where the two manufacturers get separated. That's where we're going to find a clear winner. Um, so let's, let's go into DAWA. Okay, let's go into DAWA and I will show you something very, very cool. Okay, so I'll open Smart PSS again. Okay, if we go to remote device config right here, okay, and we pick Meredith, we are going to see link to web, okay, and when we click link to web, we are going to be able to log in to this location through a web browser. Now, this is done strictly with P2P. There's no port forwarding. Uh, there's no monkey business. This is P2P by serial number through the client software. Okay. The client software allows us to connect to the recorder through a browser. Okay. So I can type my username and password. And 
and this allows me to make any change to the NVR as though I was on location. Okay. Display. Okay. This is the monitor that's on site. Okay. We can go to camera. Okay. Look at this. We can go to the image settings. We can change. Um, I'm looking for OSD for you. Right here, overlay. We can change camera names. Okay. This is Fuel Dock. If I wanted to change it to something else, I could. Okay. We can change the size of the font. Okay. Um, we can also change things such as resolution. Okay. This is actually a four megapixel camera. If we want to go up to four megapixel, we could. Uh, if we want to change the frame rate, Okay, we could. The bit rate, we could change that if we could. The quality, we could change that if we wanted to. Okay, if I want to go in and look at the time and adjust the time, we can do that easily, remotely. I can sync it with my PC, right? Of course, we've got to change this to Eastern Time. We can format the hard drive if I wanted to do that, okay? Right here. Click this. Format it, okay? All of these tools you can do remotely, okay? With Hikvision, not so much, okay? With Hikvision, not so much. IVMS is IVMS, okay? So if we go into device management, um, it will give us the option to remote configure this DVR, NVR. But when we get into settings, it's very limited in what you can do. Okay. For instance, the time, if we have to change the time, it's also very slow. But if we have to change the time, Again, note, note the, the speed, right? There's no sync to computer. There's no way to manually change the time, okay? You can set it up with an NTP server, okay? Um, which you can also on Dawa, but you can't sync to PC. You can't do any of that stuff, okay? Um, image of the camera. Again, look at the speed is very slow. Almost frustrating sometimes. Doesn't even give you an option. Okay. Um, because you can't connect to it through a browser, um, you can't adjust the video stream and those types of things. Uh, some of the higher end Hick Vision cameras, it will allow you to, um, but, but with this, it's not. Okay, we're just getting nothing. So we can tell already that as far as configuring the equipment remotely through the client software, um, that's a huge plus for DAWA. Okay, uh, and that makes it two to one. Um, and honestly, again, installing both of the manufacturers for years and years, um, there's no comparison. Hikvision's uh, reliable. Um, it's cost effective. Um, but you can say the same thing about DAWA. Right, it's reliable and cost effective too. Um, but I think the encoding is better with DAWA, I think the smart PSS is better with DAWA. Um, again, live viewing and playback, um, it's close, right? It's close, we, we tied there. Uh, but when it comes to configuring, to changing times, to encoding, to changing video quality, uh, to formatting hard drives, all of that stuff you can do easily with DAWA because you can connect to the recorder through this client software. And a browser and with Hikvision you can't um, you can only use IVMS to configure the device um, and sometimes it connects it's hit or miss sometimes you can connect and do it and sometimes you can't um, so from my opinion uh, from my point of view um, it's DAWA you want to know who's better DAWA hopefully you enjoyed the video we'll see you in the field